We'll start with some good girlfriend gab in the vein of fashion. Stylists say outfits are always made in the details, right? Well, one little detail, and admittedly, it's a very small one, but it's caused women to second guess themselves over the past couple of years as styles evolved and things have come into currency. The question is when to tuck, when to half tuck, or not tuck at all. Again, it seems super simple, but is it really? When you take into account body proportions, height, how high your jeans go, how low your shirt falls, my first guest has a few solid guidelines to making tucking more simple. Stylist Rachel Bagley with Cardigan Empire is here to break it down for us. It's great to see you. So good to be here, Beth. I was thinking it used to be that we had one option at a time that was current, right? You oh, were yeah. either tucking mm -hmm. or you weren't tucking five years ago, six years ago, seven, we got introduced to the half tuck. Right. And now it seems like it's free game on any of it. And I think that's true of almost all fashion. We just are embracing more and more and more, which is overwhelming, but also really nice because you can personalize it to yourself, right? Yes. You don't have to do what everybody else is doing. Just pick the one that works best for you. And when we talk about the tuck that might work best, what kind of an impact can this very small detail have on, on an overall polished look? Yeah, absolutely, because it makes a big difference in proportions, right? Mm. So for somebody like me, I have a super long torso and itty bitty legs, right? So when you ask me, when do you tuck? I'm like, always, you always tuck. <laughs> okay. Because otherwise I'm going to be left with like three inches of legs. The right? outfit is wearing you. Yeah, exactly. So it a lot of it depends on body type and it can add a lot of proportion to it. And it makes a big difference on how your overall look comes together. So right now, wider leg jeans are in. Mm -hmm. And so we have that narrower waist with, you know, like being able to tailor in the shirt so you don't feel like you're all one boxy length, right? Yes, yes. All right, so it can pay off knowing when and how. You've got five different tucks to work with. You talked about the full tuck first. So again, right. that will play in if you have shorter legs. Right, yeah, full tucks are definitely more conservative. They're the original and it tends to look more formal. So anytime you're wanting to dress things up a little bit or you're going into a business setting or something like that, a full tuck is gonna work out great because you can go all the way around. Now, it's also sometimes the most intimidating for people, right? I think so. Because you're like just exposing everything, the I back, the front, out, the sides, In the right? open, yeah. Yeah, so you wanna do it with a thinner fabric and it generally works best when you have some volume on the bottom, whether it's a wide leg pant or whether it's a full skirt, right? Either way, it can work. And that's gonna be simpler if you have that proportion to play with. I'm gonna ask the nerdy detail questions. No, no. Is it a tight, tight, all the way around tight tuck? No, you can definitely tailor to yourself. But I wouldn't say, an, there are people out there, uh, maybe they're 16 or haven't had any kids, <laughs> and they're gonna have the full tight tuck, right? Like a really yeah. fitted t-shirt, which can work. I would probably put a cardigan or a blazer on top of that. But most of the time when I use a full tuck, it's got a little blousing into it. And you say- It gives me some room to live right there. Yeah, some room to just be comfortable. Right. You say sometimes there's a need for a third piece. Yeah, the third piece is that cardigan or that jacket, and that really okay. just cleans up the silhouette. So if you're like self-conscious about it, like a full tuck can work on like a tank or a thin t-shirt, and then you throw something on top and you're gonna get a really clean look. You have a good test to let us know if we've done it correctly, done it right? You know, what I like to do when I am blousing is I usually go out to the side. Okay. I'm not a full jumping jack kind of girl because <laughs> okay. I don't want like a snowman amount of volume. Yeah. But like out to the side is good and, and then I might adjust. Yeah. All right, let's move to the front tuck. Yes, yeah, so the front tuck is probably the one I use the most because you can do it very casually. It can just feel like a little bit irreverent. So the front tuck is where you're just taking the front section. And what I like about this one is you can really tailor it. Like right here, you know, if you only want to do like a very, you know, two or three inches in the front, mm -hmm. that's totally fine. Mm -hmm. You want to go a full four in the front, that's fine too. And it gives you a little bit of coverage in the back, which in is really nice. In the derriere. All right, anything else to think about when it comes to the, to the half tuck? Well, the one thing about the half tuck is some people are still concerned, you know, with exposing their midsection. We have some options there. But the biggest thing I would say is don't do this with a thick, heavy fabric. Okay. Like if you have a big sweater or you have like a lot of bulk that you're gonna be putting in there, yeah. probably not the one that you'd wanna use. All right. I'll give you some other options later. Here's the tuck or the faux tuck that I didn't see coming, the knot. Yeah, so the knot I love um, when it's like you're doing something kind of playful. <clears throat> it's great in the summer too. But the one thing I would say is looping it into your buttonhole will make it so, see, it's like tucked oh. in there. So then when you lift your arms, you aren't exposing your midriff the whole time. Look at you, so before you buttoned, you just slid yeah, that. Yeah, so you just sl slip it in through Okay, the, what? Here, I will show you. <gasps> this is magic. So yeah, no, it's really, really helpful. 
And you know, whether how you knot it, I usually unbutton about two buttons. Okay. And then you loop it here through the buttonhole. You t and then you put the button through. This is so smart. And then, you know, you just double knot it. I'm feeling the same odd reverence as, was, as when I think it was Heather Johnson on this show introduced me to the belly band when I was pregnant, the rounder button. Oh, yeah. Or the right? elastic yeah. trick. Yeah. yeah. I mean, same idea. Like keep you down, keep you covered. Right. So then you can still have that kind of playful look without like worrying about if I actually reach up to grab a cereal box in the grocery store, am I going to show everybody, you know? This is gonna take care of you. All right, this is front knot. When do we go side knot? So side knot, there, the other option on side knot is actually, do you mind if I touch no. you, Brooke? Hey, oh, come no. here, come here. So the other option on side knot, like when you have thicker, heavier fabrics like this, uh -huh. then we can kind of just side knot there too. Oh, just tuck on the side. Just like on the side. Yeah. And so you might not want to do it with this look, but it works really great with t-shirts. And if you're afraid about like exposing all that front section that uh -huh. maybe you're the most insecure about, uh -huh. This is a really great option because you can just tuck that side in and you get like the length on the leg, but you don't get the exposure through the midriff. This is the same thing and you can use that same clear plastic, you know, hair band. Yeah. You just like knot it up, up on the side. So when you don't want to tuck into things like let's say a pair of leggings. I don't want to tuck into my right. leggings. That's right. going to look really awkward. So knotting it off to the side and you can do that with any thin t-shirt. It works better with thin materials. And when you knot it with the elastic, that makes it so it doesn't stretch out the fabric quite as much. When I was little, I had that little circular accessory. Oh, yeah, yeah. That you, it, you just, mm -hmm. like, wove it through. Mm -hmm. I mean, we should bring that back. Everything else in the 90s is come. Careful. It's probably coming, right? For sure, right? All right. When is a good option just to avoid tucking altogether? Yeah, so some people, they just don't like tucking. And so if you have a really full chest, if you have a really short torso, you're going to, like, tuck in and you're like, uh, I feel like I'm, like, you know, it's just like me with my legs, right? It's just going to throw the proportion off. Yeah. So anytime you have details on your shirt, you're not going to want to really tuck. So here when we have a peplum, if you have waistbanding, if you have anything that is already defining your waist, just let it be free. The only thing I would say is you don't want things to go all the way past your crotch line, right? Okay. So um, there's certain situations like a tunic and things like that where that's not necessarily true. Uh -huh. But overall, you know, this is just going to be great all by itself. You don't want to overcomplicate the system. You're just going to go with that nice, simple um waistline right here because yes. you've already defined it. But don't let it go all the way past. Yes, yeah, we just don't, like, we don't want it to feel overwhelming. Like, you want your, when you're picking those kind of shirts, try and make sure they hit okay. about mid um, crotch line. You're shopping for a shirt, not a tent. Yeah, exactly. Although some days the tent yeah. feels good. Rachel, hey, you know, thank I would you. Date. You broke it down. I love this. Always. And you gave us kind of the science behind the style, which we appreciate. We can get more details on your Instagram page. Absolutely. Where do we find you? You can find me at Cardigan Empire on Instagram as well as CardiganEmpire.com for my website. All right. She takes clients, too. Look for all of the details there online. We'll link you from our website. Thank you again.